Party people, it's Saturday night, what are you doing? Are you watching this video? Are you out there getting crunk? Now, I'm never going to do that again. That was horrible. But anyway, this video is going to be quick because, well, there's not much to say. But it's an interesting project nonetheless, so, well, hell, let's make a video nice and early in the piece before everyone jumps on it, pretends it's bigger than Ben-Hur, and, well, makes it out to be something it's not. So let's go through what it is. Well, the project's called Phantom. Phantom.foundation is the website. It is claiming to be the world's first. Drum roll, please. The first DAG, Directed Cyclic Graph with Smart Contracts. Now, there's other DAGs out there. You could be one of them. But more importantly, we're talking about Nano or Ryblox. We're talking IOTA. They are DAGs. They're fast. DAGs are known to be very fast. So what it's trying to say here is that it's solving scalability because it uses this DAG. So it's saying here 300,000 transactions a second that grows in a linear fashion. So it's you know, what they would consider infinite scalability because the more nodes that you have, the greater, you know, possibilities you have to scale out that network. Now, mathematically stated, uh, that might happen in a linear fashion. I think you'll find, though, that the network overheads and the topologies don't exactly work like that. Um, but it's always interesting to see because... You know, there are proven circumstances where DAGs are obviously very fast. Now, how it's going to work with smart contracts because of the architecture, it leaves me wondering. Because the actual project itself here doesn't have a white paper as of yet. So they come down and they talk about this opera layer or the, the wear layer, so like middleware, the interaction between, you know, other uh, chains possibly or other technology or APIs to other technology and then you have the core layer and then you know some fancy diagrams here now it talks about this Lachesis protocol however you pronounce it who cares I actually couldn't find anything on that other than this how many pages too many a robust database storage management based on device specific performance characteristics. Effectively, something written in 2003 by a bunch of people around in performing database read write speeds and not around consensus. So this is completely made up. Uh, and if we don't apply that, it's actually a Greek word for disposing of the lots or something like that. And if we don't apply that analogy, well, it's a snake. So we'll wait for more information around what that consensus actually means because currently that picture does nothing for me. Nor does the picture on the right, story data. That's, it's beautiful, it's like a game. Now, like I said, it doesn't actually have a white paper as of yet, but the concept is very intriguing, and that's why I'm showing this to you now, because if it blows up like Ben-Hur and everyone's like, woo-wee, well, you know, here I am showing this to you, you know, as the humble guy on the internet. Now, we are here, and <laughs> into Mezzo, what do they got, like musicals going on here? This is where they are, it's brand new guys, but the big issue I have is this. The main net's not due until like the end of 2019, near 220. Like you're gonna be waiting a long time to find out whether or not they can even build smart contracts on this platform. So one thing I will say though, the team is super strong for now. Like the team, it's large and it's in charge. And they have obviously a large amount of people here working on this platform. So I can only assume that they are privately funded up to the wazoo. Now, if we scroll down a little bit more, you'll see that they are partners with Oracle. So I jumped on the Telegram, I queried them on that, and they said, in Korea, Oracle are their partners. In what way, shape, or form, they didn't divulge. However, they've put it up there. Uh, let's assume that that is truthful, uh, and it actually means that, obviously, they do have some cool things going on here. Um, we go down, there's nothing more to it but to do it. 
All right, let's get back up the top. Now, if you have a look at this executive summary, like I said, real short, it does make a few, you know, normal claims here. Wells first, blah, blah, blah. Go down, shows you a bit of the uh, architecture here and how they're going to, you know, beat the others in terms of Steam, EOS, and Cardano. And a bit more there about their smart contract language. They do say they're going to be the first platform to disrupt the existing infrastructure for payments. That's horse shit. Let's be honest, guys. Blockchain technology has already disrupted a lot of these industries. To say it's the first platform to do that, that is wrong. You can't say that in executive summaries like this. This, this ah, makes me angry. All right, moving on. So there's going to be 3.55 billion of them. And another thing that kind of gets me a bit worried here, guys, is the share. So the allocation here in the tokenomics, you get 40% for the sale, but the rest of it are, are sitting in that market development advisors and phantom team fund. Now, they say that that 30% is going to be market development uh, to grow the network over time, but we need to be careful with things like this and what that actually means. Uh, I'd like to see more information about how they're, they're trying to use that fund over time and then everything else that we've already talked about. So the project as a whole, like I said, super intriguing. Phantom, you're going to hear more about it, I'm sure. A DAG, super fast, super slick with smart contracts. If it blows up, you know who told you about it first. Catch you later, guys.